Good everybody, Mid Morning Soul back at it again with another part to Subathon. But y'all, this is kind of out of the blue. Uh, I'm gonna see if this video makes it onto Premiere Weekend. If not, it's just like a random video. But I really wanted to do this earlier. Um, I was contacted by SW. B Media to try out a demo and I wanted to take the time to do that right now uh, the video or excuse me the demo I am referring to is called creature consorts so this is a indie game company based in Canada and they are doing this visual novel which is WLW or Woman Love Woman or Women Love Woman it or Yuri if you're familiar with like the Japanese term and I saw it it looks cute so I was like you know what why not I'll give it a shot and um, they have a Kickstarter in which I will link in my description and also um, We'll see about, you know, how I would do um, at the end of the demo. But here's some backstory. You play as Maggie, who is a young witch who receives a mysterious letter calling her to Langston, a mystical town known for being home to all sorts of beautiful beasties, sightly specters, and horror hotties. Follow her as she meets a cast of spooky babes to befriend and maybe more. Okay. So, we'll go through very quickly the love interest, I believe. Uh, we have Susie, <laughs> they have a parent ages. She's a Korean vampire who was turned in the 1880s. Eventually, she decided to drift through Europe for about 100 years before arriving in Canada and came to Langston's Vampire Quarter before it was legally recognized. Okay, so she's she's a hipster. Cool. She decided it that it seemed like a cool enough place to settle. She loves music almost to a fault and will absolutely go on a tangent about obscure artists if provoked. At heart, she's still a bubbly party girl with a finger on the pulse of good music and a decent business sense. Alright, Susie. That's cute. Madeline, a parent age 35. An American werewolf in Canada? That's Madeline. She always had the dream of opening up her own bakery, but couldn't get around to the whole lycanthropy thing back home and eventually settled down. She had a litter of her own with the late Mr. Rosewood, who after his passing left her enough funding to open up her own bakery in the newly established town excuse me, of Langston. Nowadays, she prefers to lead a simple life and would prefer a walk in the park and a nice cup of coffee at her bakery over a crowded restaurant any day. Next we have Coco, a parent age 28. In her past life, she lived, worked, and died in the town of Langston. Her restless spirit lingered at the thought of unfinished paperwork and eventually took back her old job as, the, as city hall receptionist once she heard that they were hiring mystics. At least, that's what she says her reason for staying on Earth is. She's very reserved about her true intentions. No, you gotta be, you gotta be opened up with us. Sis. No keeping secrets. I don't like that. Okay, then we have Nile, a parent age 30. Originally from Egypt, she was brought over as a part of an exhibition on mummies when her slumber was disturbed and she subsequently escaped. Right, right. She spent quite a long time wandering aimlessly on the west coast until she found her true calling. She actually only moved, only recently moved to Langston at the request of the mayor as the world's premier undead psychologist. 
She has a big heart and incredibly clear skin. What's her secret? All right, let's go. Okay. And then last but not least, we have Pat. A parent age 27, from and made of parts unknown. Pat's the end result of awful experimentation and tinkering at the hands of a mad scientist with a not-so-hidden lab. Nowadays, Pat spends her time playing babysitter, bodyguard to her creator's spoiled daughter, who sees her more as a wind-up toy than a person. Even so, she, she takes her job seriously and is pretty no-nonsense. No-nonsense. I was about to say no-nonsense. But once you get to know her, she's actually pretty chill. Alright, that fucks with that. And then, folks, this is SWV Media, like I mentioned before. So we're going to go ahead and boot up the demo. They say it was going to be 15 to... Was it 15 to 20 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes? Whatever the case may be. Y'all know with your girl, it's going to take a little bit longer because we're doing a Let's Play. But let's see how this works. Um... Afterwards, we'll go over their Kickstarter, and we'll see what's what. Alrighty, folks. So here we are. Creature Consults. This is a demo that is available on uh, Itch.io. <laughs> I know I'm probably going to get slaughtered for butchering that, but it's, uh, it's available on that platform. Um, I hope the sound is okay. If not, we'll just... I'll just rather fix it. All right, let's get started. Not too long ago, in the mystical land of Canada, monsters, cryptids, spirits, and the mythical figures of all kinds were hunted by the likes of the dead beats. A ruthless gang of mercenaries who would exchange countless mystic lives for a bit of coin. Many lives were lost, upended, or forever changed by the actions of these government-sanctioned goons. However, due to the hard work of our cultural leaders, their actions were finally criminalized. This is kind of a beat for a... Uh, People were killed <laughs> back uh, tone. Finally, mystics and mankind could live in harmony. It was tough going for a while, but then small pockets of mystic society started springing up and revealing themselves to the rest of the world. One of these pockets was our very own town of Langston. Whether traveling for business or for pleasure, the town of Langston had a little bit of everything for everybody. Even for those who might find themselves lacking a body. Boasting over 100 years of history and a unique coastal landscape, we're sure you'll find a niche for you. <laughs> I have to admit, I like the text box aesthetic with the little skulls. That's cute. Put some magic in your travel. Visit Langston. That's got to be the hundredth time that I heard that spiel on this trip. Is that us? That's us, y'all. We're cute. They already got me with that cryptic letter. I didn't need the hard sell. To the esteemed Miss Mayweather, I hope this letter finds you well. We request your presence at Langston Town Hall at your nearest convenience upon the recommendation of one Astrid Mayweather on the topic of potions and incantations. Please blink that. Sorry, that's my goofy ass clicking off of um something I got no business clicking off of. <laughs> Lord. Y'all forgive me, I'm new at PC gaming. <laughs> mm. 
the proper paperwork will have been filed uh, via clairvoyant and proper accommodations will be made upon your answer. We await your correspondence via Raven. Sincerely, Langston Township Internal Affairs. If mom wanted me to, if mom wanted to get my attention, a text would have done. It's not going to be easy living up to whatever standard she's been setting. I'm only a half witch, and she's like the boss witch. <laughs> I'm sure she could do whatever they're looking for better than me. She probably just wanted to piss Dad off. Hmm. Yikes. What's Mom been telling people about my potions? I don't stop. Likes in Central. Thank the stars. I don't know how many more times I could have listened to that. You would think that if the only way in the town was an eight hour train ride, they'd at least record more than a handful of those things. Girl, eight hour train ride. Ugh. Then again, I can't talk because I have done that too. Well, I better go see how Ash is doing back there. Can't say, or can't have been an easy riding with the merch for so long. Maybe I should whip her up a treat later. Now, where is the cargo car? Uh, oh, choices. Okay. Um, cargo's usually in the back. That way? Ah, well, that wasn't too far. Ash? Hi, plant girl. I like your design. Hmm. Ash! What? Wake up, Ash. Ugh. Here I was feeling bad for cramming you back here, only to find you napping on the job. I'm your broomstick, boss witch. I was just feeling the vibes of the track back here. It's not like anything was gonna run off on me. That's not the point. I told you that there's been reports of deadbeats around here, and I don't want them messing with... Where's my mugwort? Guilty. You're the worst familiar ever. What? I was thirsty. It's not like they have beverage service in the cargo car anyway. Besides, I can just whip you up some more in a couple of hours. That's why you picked the wood nymph as a familiar after all. Oh, that's what she is? Okay. Just stay awake for the rest of the trip and start gathering our bags. We'll be there in about... Final stop, Langston Center arriving. Gotcha, I'll start wrangling up the, bo the bags, boss. Don't call me boss, call me Maggie. Suit yourself, Mags. Charming. Just get ready to go, please. All right, Ash shouldn't have... <laughs> All right, Ash shouldn't have any issues checking into the hotel. Okay, so the background's watercolored and got that smudge effect, but eh. let's see. This is a demo, so this thing has been acting up all day. Town Hall is wow. Oh, bitch, you got an iPhone? Eh, wrong answer. Oh, I, I pick? What the hell? Wouldn't Town Center be in the center? Lazy history. <clears throat> Alright. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, let's go east, I guess. This way. Right, so I'm here to speak with whoever sent this letter. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, I'm so sorry. They currently appear to be in a meeting. They may actually be a while. 
I can let them know you stopped by if you wanted to explore the town a bit more. Of course. Talk to everybody. Let's explore the town a bit more. Okay, I think I will. She is cute though. Let's go this way. Mm. It says we're east. We'll just go clockwise, I guess. South. This way. Well, there's the hotel. I don't see any sign of Ash. She couldn't have gotten lost, could she? You look a little lost yourself. Ah! Waiting for somebody. Okay, let's see. Let's look at you. Rocking the bandages. Uh, I don't think... I mean, no. It's okay. No shame in being stood up. Probably just some cave troll catfish who lost their nerve. I'm not here. How about I'm grabbing some lunch with some friends at the restaurant by the hotel. Why don't you come join us, Miss Witch? My name is Maggie. Call me Nile. Nile? Or that wasn't the question. Whatever, y'all. How'd you know I was a witch? Ancient mummy magic. Real ancient stuff. Plus, the basic witch pin on your bag is a good indicator. <laughs> Damn it, Ash! So I noticed you didn't say no to a brunch date. Oh, uh... Unless you wanted to keep waiting for this. Ash hole, was it? N no, Ash is my familiar. Uh, and they were roommates. <laughs> I get it. It's not like that. I'm actually looking for Town Hall. I'm here on business and I got turned around at the train station. You should have just said so. Town Hall is just west of the train station. I'm surprised that you missed it, actually. I'm a terrible navigator. Well, I would take you there myself, but I have a brunch reservation with some friends. How about we rain check on that date? Okay, bitch. She, she pushy. Oh, uh, great. I'm staying at the hotel for a week, so just ask me for it. Just ask for me at reception. Later, witchy. Thank you! I guess. Okay, so if it's by the train station... Westward! Away! This way. Wait. Was well, I supposed to go north? Well, I'm going north anyway, so I don't give a damn. <laughs> well, can't really go much further this way, can I? Where could it? Excuse me. You're in the way, lady. Who the hell is this? Huh? Girl! I said you're in my way, lady. Jeez, tourist. Can't you see some of us have to work for a living? What? Did I do something? Don't mind her. She always gets cranky when looking for a photo op. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Not really. Zell just gets like this sometimes. Sorry. I just got a little lost. I don't even know how I ended up here on the beach. I might be able to point you in the right direction. You got a name? I'm Maggie. Phew. My name's Patricia, but you can call me Pat or Patty. If you call me Patches, though, I'll tear your arms off. Capiche? Got ya. Got gotcha. <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain, Maggie. So, Pat, can you point me to town hall? 
Ah, you're on the wrong side of town for that. Yeah, I, sw I was at the town hall! Gosh, I'm so goofy. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. That's way out east by the train station. I went there first. Ugh, I just came from there. Patches, I think I found the spot. I wish she wouldn't call me that. It was nice meeting you, Maggie. I gotta catch up to Miss Pris up there. It's gonna be a long week of shooting here. Thank you for the directions. Okay, so it's by the train station, which is... Well, girl, we don't went there. We going north. Because, yeah, we had to go with everybody. So let's go north. This way. Which is not the way of the town hall. One of these buildings has to be the town hall, right? Maggie, you so damn goofy. <laughs> Maybe I'll just pop in and ask for directions. This stupid phone doesn't want to work right anyway. Let's see. A flower shop, a bookstore, pie in the sky bakery. Batwing Beats. I haven't mean to add some variety to my vinyl. I guess that's as good a place to ask as any. Hello? Well, I may as well look around while I'm in here. I wonder what kind of music other mystics listen to. I wonder if they have anything by F.O.G. F.O.G. Well, you seem to be making yourself at home here. I keep forgetting that you all don't need to be invited in. Ah! I'm sorry! I didn't know anybody else was in. You have to expect, like, an employee or the owner has to be in, sweetheart. Come on now. Where are you? No worries. It happens. Whoa! Call me Susie! I'm Maggie. I'm sorry I didn't see you up there. It's the coziest spot to nap. Girl, you better, how you gonna be napping? You can have, like, some shifty ass people stealing your merch. Come on now. Can I help you find anything, Maggie? How's just. Oh, oh, you're, you're very nimble. I was just looking around. I can't say I've ever been to a mystic record shop. Well, you come to the best one right off the bat. But um, shh. Sorry to say, none of the others are even as half as cool as mine. Do you have any recommendations? Well, do you like banjo? Uh. There's this one guy I've been really into, I've been really into lately, a manticore uh, named Patty Davies, man. Main. His debut tape was all doom folk full of auto harp and fuzz and flugelhorn, and he made it to, the, to fund his debut live show. Oh, is he any good? Unfortunately... Maine abandoned the interesting parts of his sound, his weird instruments and low droning guitars and started playing the banjo really badly and paired it with the game beast making a chip folk blend that doesn't work in the slightest. Uh, worst part is he kept his signature off key yell singing. But it's not charming when he's not dooming. Uh, sorry, I just get excited when people show interest in deep cuts. It sounds neat. I guess I can give it a listen. I put you down for a copy. Do you want to start a tab or do you want to close out? A tab or a record shop, girl? Oh, yes. Due at the end of the month. Aren't you worried about people skipping out? They're like, uh, hello? 
Nah, I'm a pretty good tracker. We accept all forms of payment. Including blood. Oh, I... You seem trustworthy, though. I'm sure it won't have to come to that. I'd actually just like to pay now. Don't be ridiculous. I've already gone through the trouble of signing you up. Okay, lone shark slash vampire chick. And you get a complimentary bonus add-on for our loyalty program. Thank you. It's no problem at all. Oh, I'm excited. I just know that you're going to love all the recommendations that I put on here. Can I just ask you where Town Hall is? Town Hall? Let's see. I think that's by the train station. Okay. So it's back where I came from. I'll be seeing you. Ooh, I think some sludge girls will do just fine. <laughs> I guess I need to go. <gasps> I haven't really eaten anything since I got here. To the bakery. Howdy and welcome to Pie in the Sky. Hiya. My name's Mablin. What can I get you today, sweetie? I'll have a... I recommend the Lichen Lemon Bars. Just bake them fresh. Sure, I'll take one of those. Hot day like this, you must be thirsty. Have a rose water on the house. Thank you so much. Oh, don't even mention it. What brings you into town, stranger? I have some business at the town hall. Town hall? Why, that's the way you came from, sugar. Oh, no. Girl, we know this. Why are you acting so surprised, you big dummy? <laughs> we bit. That was the first place we went to because your girl is good like that. But, no, we bit, we were at the town hall. And they said, oh, you should just go around town because whoever you needed to talk to is in the meeting. My stupid phone has been acting up all day. Pay it no mind. I point you in the right direction. You just take a load off here and kick your feet up as long as you like. Thank you so much. Are all mystics here so friendly? There's some troublesome... Er, there's some troublemakers here and there, but I think you'll find a kind face wherever you look. Well, that's comforting. I always keep your head on straight, though. Those few bad apples are a doozy. And a pretty young girl like yourself makes for easy pickings. Oh! I think I can handle myself. Are you sure about that? I haven't been in a situation that my potions can get me out of. Oh my, a little witch! Aren't you just darling? I might have to come to you for when my back starts acting up. Or acting up, as I say. <laughs> oh, one moment, sugar. Howdy and welcome to... I ain't here for the pleasantries. <laughs> I heard some no good varmint's been sitting up shopping... Uh, this here cozy town and claiming she's got the best cow pies in the world. Wait, I hope that's a man. <laughs> Everyone knows those come out of Texas. <laughs> They're called haystacks. Oh, oh shit. Oh, drop their damn exit like a hot potato. <clears throat> They're called haystacks, and as far as I'm concerned, the only two things to come out of Texas are steers and queers. Ooh! I see the horns, but what are your pronouns? I don't mean to offend. Madeline, you old mutt, how you been? Marcy, it's been you. Oh, shit, she trans? He's trans? Oh. That's what I figured. Oh, Marcy. 
It's Marshall now, actually. Oh, okay. Marshall. Now that's a strong name. Oh, how rude of me, Marshall. This is... Oh, I don't think I caught your name, sugar. I'm Maggie. Pleased to meet you, Marshall. You're both new to town. Oh, no. It's late already. I don't mean to be rude, Marshall, but I promised Maggie I'd take her to town hall. Oh, don't worry. I think I can find my way. Girl, shut up. There you go. <laughs> Are you sure, sugar? Of course. It's just east of the train station, so that means it's this way. Y'all come back now, sugar. Yay, now I can go back. That way? Right, so I'm here to speak with whoever sent this letter. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, I'm so... God, this is the same thing! So I shouldn't have went here first. <laughs> Y'all, oh my god. They may actually be a while. I can let them know you stop by if you want. If you want to explore the town a bit more. We just did that. It's okay. I wouldn't want to miss them. Okay. Are you sure? Most people don't want to hang out with a ghost. I really don't mind. You make good company. Oh. Uh, I, uh... I'm just gonna do some work over here. That's alright. Four hours later. Or four hours later. I think the mayor is ready for you now. Oh, well, Maggie, as long as you're not storing, we're good. Well, oh, thanks. Hello? I was told that I would be meeting someone, somebody here on the request of Astrid Me- uh. Yes, close the door behind you, dear. Please turn the light on. I apologize. I just work best in the dark. Oh, yeah, just let me go. Damn, that's so long. Okay. Shit. <laughs> My, how you've grown into a fine young woman. Mom? <laughs> how are you doing, Kiki? It's been far too long. Kiki? I guess that's a family name. Okay. I. Don't call me that! Kiki, but you used to love that move! <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Maybe I used to, but things change when you disappear for a few years, Astrid. Girl, you talk to your mom like that? <laughs> okay. Don't you use that tone with me, Maggie. I know you must be upset. But I am still your mother. Oh yeah, mother of the year. Extra points for abandoning her half-witch daughter with her ex-deadbeat dad. Silence! <laughs> I can explain why I had to leave, but I can assure you that it wasn't by choice. I don't want to hear any excuses, Mom. G the hell? I don't know that word. I'll try it though. Uh, why is this? <gasps> Magistra, I, I'm sorry, Maggie. I just need to get a word in edgewise. Please, will you just let me explain why I summoned you all this way? I ain't got no choice. Well, this is me monologuing internally as her. I ain't got no choice. You don't put the, some damn Harry Potter spell on me. I can't talk, so go for it. Imperium Zed. I'll let you explain that, and then I'm out of here. Kiki, please. You're going to stop calling me that stupid nickname, too. Alright, then. Maggie, I summoned you here to discuss an employment opportunity for you. You brought me all this way for a job offer? In short, yes. Hard pass. I'll see you on Halloween. You said you would let me explain. 
you wouldn't be under my employ. In fact, you'd be somewhat of an entrepreneur. I'm listening. <laughs> With that, like, weird expression. I was planning on establishing it myself, but then the town approached me with an offer of civic duty that I couldn't decline. Oh, you poor wretched thing. You should have seen this town before I was brought in, Keat. Maggie. There were mystics on top of mystics and all that because of some stupid bigoted territorial notion that made everybody wary of their own neighbors. I wasn't able to establish the shop itself, but the groundwork is all set for you to take over. Oh, is that all? Maggie, darling. Oh, that, yeah, it's her <laughs> mocking her. Maggie, darling, could you please uproot your entire life and come live in my town and risk your life savings on a potion shop? The local government has agreed to my terms of financial assistance for the first three months on a probationary period. There was a town-wide fundraiser to help offset the cost of materials, rent, and amenities. Wow, what a nice town. There's even an apartment above the shop which co that comes with the land. Whether you would rent it or inhabit it yourself is your own choice. So the town is just giving me a shop and a home? Girl, you me you. That's not a bad um, choice, if you ask me. Yeah, this seems too good to be true. What's the catch? There's no catch other than the fact that you'll be facing a higher than normal volume than you used to due to the number of mystics in the area. When I heard that you'd be that, when I heard that you contracted a familiar, I knew that it wouldn't be too much to handle for a two-person team, though. You think Ash is going to be on board for a day job? I assure you that you'll be earning enough to pay a suitable wage. A familiar requesting compensation other than magical is still a new concept for me, but I believe my math is right. Mind if I ask why this town is so eager to just kickstart a new business out of the goodness of their hearts? Right, you asking the questions I'm asking or thinking of. It's born out of necessity. I'm sure that <laughs> my voice. I'm sure that you know that mystics require assistance beyond which is available among conventional pharmaceuticals. I filled that role myself until I was needed for civil civil service, and I ne that again. I filled that role myself until I was needed for civil service, and now I and the town would like to ask if you would be interested in inheriting the mantle. I've observed what you and Ash are capable of. With full access to my notes, the town's outpouring of support, and your own magical talents, it's the perfect opportunity, Kiki. <sighs> Sorry. It's the perfect opportunity, Maggie. What about Dad? I'm sure he'd be just that. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure he'd just as quickly approve of me running a drug lab. Yes, I had anticipated that he would be a hindrance to my proposal, which is why I had him killed. I'm just kidding. I cannot control how you decide or how he reacts. Not for lack of trying. I merely ask that you consider it. I think... Oh, what? Oh, they weren't lying. That's all for now, folks. Ba -ba -ba okay. <laughs> Stay tuned for SWB on social media for updates from the developers. Credits are as follows. Boom, Turtle Tower, Scenario Writer and Director, Crema Card, Sprite Art, Graphic Design, Pedro Alfie Puente, and Music and Programming, Splash Bun. Yo, that was pretty sick. And you can visit their social media goodness. No, nah, don't skip. Alright, so I went back. Let's go front. That way? This doesn't look right. Maybe I should ask the conductor. Excuse me. 
What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bother you. Shouldn't you be conducting the train? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just looking for the cargo car. Do you know? It's in the back. Now beat it, kid. I got work to do. Jeez, what's up his ass? <laughs> Whatever. I have to check up on Ash. Ah, oh, well. This, that wasn't too far. Okay, so that's, that's where I goofed. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to goof. So that's uh, all choices, I believe. Um, interesting, interesting. I really do like... It's simple. The art kind of reminds me of... The art kind of reminds me of... Um, Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, which is a good thing. I like the, you know, the different sprites and art versus, you know, the traditional uh, Japanese or, like, Eastern-inspired anime and whatnot. Uh, let's go on to the Kickstarter, shall we? Alrighty, y'all, and we're back. So, y'all, check this out. Here is the Kickstarter. I will leave a link in my description. And, um, I'm, I'm, I love it. I'm here for it. Creature Consult, a Yuri love story as spooky as you. And visual novel with optional adult content about dating creepy cuties with a focus on portraying healthy woman love woman relationships. So we just got through the demo and they have all of their uh, stretch goals and um, like I said, yeah, we went through this. And the music was kind of nice, so I might go up on, like, the higher tiers. So this is their first um, Kickstarter project. So, yeah, y'all. I think this is pretty cool. Would Defo uh, be backing this? So, join me. You gotta... It, it may not seem likely, but yeah, we cannot judge at this point. There have been projects that have been backed within three days, less than three days. So I'm hoping that this gets back. I'm gonna put some, put a pledge in here um, after I finish editing and uploading this video. And I just, wish them all the best I really want to thank um, I believe it was Maxine who reached out to me about uh, yeah thank you. pretty cool yeah she's the musician that's awesome so yeah the music was pretty chill of course we only got a small slice of what was to come in this game so yeah y'all there's the Kickstarter. Let's try to get them to that goal and beyond. We could do it, y'all. 14 days, a little less than 14 days, as they are um, putting the halt on March 15th. Don't, don't think impossible, if anything. So we'll most for sure feature this video for a little bit. And then, um, I've still got my own project to do, but, yeah, it's, it's nice. I really enjoy the visual novel. I, I even got some references. Music was low-key vibing. Pretty cool. Um, like I guess I do enjoy the character art. The background art, I mean, if that's how it's gonna look, then. I'm, I'm talking about with that watercolor smudge effect I mean eh, but <laughs> it's a demo so I give them that and um, 
Hopefully we see more updates and whatnot. But yeah, y'all, let's get this. Let's let's help them out. Let's get this. Um, let's get this visual novel. Get this Kickstarter. Let's get their first Kickstarter up and running, y'all. Alrighty. So with that being said, thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate you stopping on by. Y'all know my philosophy on this YouTube shit. View what you wanna. Do what you wanna. And I'll see you lovely lads and lassies in the next episode. So until then, my friends, take care, take it easy, and peace.